welcome you all to dieselship.com this series of educational videos is presented to you by Sriram and this video is especially produced by dieselship academy hi welcome you all back again and today I'm going to talk on latitude and longitude in the modern world we have GPS that is the global positioning system which works basically on the imaginary lines on the world that is the latitude and longitude so latitude how do we get this name latitude so we all know a ladder which has horizontal rungs so basically a horizontal line is called as ladder tube the ladder tube has become latitude so which substantiates a latitude is a horizontal line that's an imaginary line on the world or the planet earth so in the middle of the earth we have a latitude called equator that is a zero degree which separates the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere and on the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere we have various parallel lines from right from zero degree to 90 degree that is on to the north pole and equator to the south pole so just i'll give an example and explain on seeing the world map over here now this is the equator line that is zero degree and this line is a parallel this is also a latitude this is 20 degree this is 40 degree this is 60 degree this is 80 and 90 will be at the top covering the north pole similarly we'll move towards the south right from zero degree we have 20 degree towards south 40 degree 60 80 and 90 at the south pole you will be wondering why they have given 20 40 60 in order to make the map clear the idea is they have given 20 20 but we have every 10 degrees we can have a latitude so the distance approximately between each latitude that is we can say zero degree latitude to one degree latitude the distance will be approximately 69 miles or 101 kilometers so this is a brief on latitude so now let us assume earth and remember we all say that the shape of the earth is sphere but exactly we can say it as it is oblate ellipsoid which means approximately it is egg shaped and now we have a zero degree equator over here and 90 degree south 90 degree north and various parallel line run all around the earth in a horizontal manner I explained them earlier as latitudes and I'm sure that now you're getting a clear picture so this might be one degree I'm exaggerating it you must be having various lines this is one degree north and this is one degree south every degree will be there and the distance between each latitude is 69 miles and in the earlier uh, sentence I've said it as 101 kilometers and it's exactly you can say it as 111 kilometers 69 miles so but at the north and south pole since the shape of the earth is oblate ellipsoid you cannot have exactly parallel lines since they are converging over there it may get short on the length maybe slightly lesser and now I'll explain you on longitude. A longitude. Uh, we basically call them the meridians. A meridian is a line which runs from top to bottom on the map. It's an imaginary line of course. So each meridian passing through vertically on the map of Earth is called a longitude or meridian. And we have the center one that is similarly the latitude we have zero degree called as equator we have a zero degree longitude called as prime meridian which passes through Greenwich 
which is England. I'll show it in the map in uh, seat over here. Now, this is the zero degree longitude which runs vertically through the map of the Earth. And here somewhere you can locate Greenwich. And now the longitudes are parallel lines which pass vertically like this. So this divides west part of the Earth and east part of the Earth. So on the west side you can see 180 degrees and on the east side you can see 180 degrees. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, and this side 180. This doesn't mean that these two are separate. On the other side of the earth, these are joined together, which forms the international date line over here. And I'll give a better explanation with this. Now. As I said, this is zero degree, called as prime meridian, which passes through Greenwich. Now, oh, this is also called as Greenwich Meridian. Greenwich is a place which, which is located in England somewhere over here, and every longitude passed through like this. And they converge at the poles. That is South Pole and North Pole. All right. Now, the international date line, that is 180 degree west and 180 degree east. It will be, the world will be like this, and you can see it over here. This will be the 360 degrees. That is the 180 degree on the west and 180 degree on the east will join at this point where you have uh, USSR or Russia over here and Alaska of United States Park. You can see it and this is the international date line which separates or oh, where a new date arises, where the new day starts from this point. For example, you have 25th of uh, May over here and we have 26th of May starting from here. So there is a date difference and I will explain the, regarding the international date line in a separate video. How does a ship pass through international date line over here? Adjust the dates and when they uh, come back like this. Now with respect to the longitudes, we know that uh, this is the vertical line running on the map and these are also imaginary and now combining the longitude with the latitude, this is the zero degree equator and various latitudes like this. So obviously we know that at any point say X in the world map, now we can identify with this say this is 8 degrees east, sorry 8 degrees north and uh, say 40, 60, 60, uh, sorry, 8 degree north and 60 degree east, approximate. So the latitude we know and the longitude we know, this is how we plot the position on the map. And this, say suppose you have a vessel, a ship over here, we have a satellite transmission device in the ship, which sends a signal to the geostationary star satellites outside the earth. This receives the signal and sends back to the GPS device on board the ship. So this gets 8 degrees and 60 degrees east, something like this. This is how the position of the vessel is being plotted. So that forms the basics of latitude and longitude. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. For more videos, log on to dieselship.com.